Hey guys, Zach Zeninja here and today I'll be showing you how to do a burnout in essentially any car. So for example here I've got in a Supra and I'll give you a bit of a demonstration. So this is how like a standing burnout works, so your rear tires are spinning and you're not going anywhere. So generally what you want to do to do this is in the settings of my car uh, I've got the braking on rear 0%. That means 0% of the brakes are going to the rear. So all the brakes are in the front. So it allows your front wheels to uh, be, you know, fully locked up and stopped and your rear wheels are free, free to move. So in a real drive car, that means you can, you know, spin them and stuff. But uh, in a front wheel drive car, like, uh, this Civic, uh, you want to change that. Uh, see, I'll just get in it. So it's quite obvious that what you want to do is, you know, reverse it the other way around. So as you can see in my tuning here, I've got the brake on. So don't listen to this front here. Uh, what you want to do is look at the rear, so it's rear 100%, so 100% of the brakes are in the rear. So just pretend that the front isn't there, just read rear 100. So that means the front wheels are going to spin when you uh, put on the brake and the gas. So yeah, generally what you want to do is put the brake on first, then go gas, then let go of the brake and then put it back on. If you stop moving, just stop and try again. So brake, gas, and then, or you could just wait a bit. Some cars, if you wait and move the steering wheel, especially if front-wheel drive car, it'll just stop and then you'll be doing a bit of a burnout. You see, there's not really any smoke here. It might just be because it's front-wheel drive, but when you turn the wheels, it makes a cool smoke pattern like that. Although there's basically no smoke once you're stationary. Right, so to do this in essentially any car, in the upgrades, what you want to do is select your car of choice. So any car that is rear-wheel drive or front-wheel drive will work. Just like I said, no all-wheel drive cars like, like this or that. Because, you know, you're going to have to want either the front or the rear wheel spinning. You can't have them all spinning otherwise, obviously, you're not going to be stationary. Uh, so, for example, I might just go pick the new Supra. So, in order to get the brakes uh, working like that, you need to put race brakes on. So, we'll go into custom upgrade, brakes. And see how it says here, unlocks brake tuning. Uh, that's what you need to do, get that. And generally as well, if the car has loads of grip you're going to want to put on like lower grip tires so like uh drift tires yeah that those which it reduces the well it inc increases the handling on this car because the stock tires are bad so uh, i'm going to want to leave the stock tires on but if your car's really high grip then you might want drift tires or some other tires that reduce the grip maybe off-road race but yeah for now i'll just go with the stock tires sometimes as well you're also going to need to do a bit of engine upgrades, so I might just upgrade the engine a bit, give it a bit more power so it can spin the rear tyres a bit easier. Uh, but this car should be fine, it's got quite a lot of horsepower. So we're outside now and uh, remember to, after you put race brakes on to go into cars, tune it, and for rear wheel drive, which is this is rear wheel drive, you want 0% of the force going to the rear so it'll all be on the front apply uh, and then go brake, gas let off the brake, put it back on and I feel like we're burning out here yeah. so doing a bit of a burn out here and I mean this smoke isn't that impressive but what can we really do about that uh, but yeah it's quite cool uh, I'll show you with another car as well, like I was saying, with high grip cars like uh, the Senna or something, 
here I'll show you it. Uh, it can be quite difficult to get it to lose grip and like do a burnout because the stock tides are really high grip. So what I've done to this, I think you can see in the here, yeah, like you see the little skid marks there, that means it's got drift tires on. So all I did was drift tires and I put race brakes on and in tuning you can see it's rear wheel drive so I've got it on rear zero. But even with all that stuff applied it can be quite difficult to get supercars like this to do a burn up. So I usually I do and it starts like sliding forward. So what you want to do to try and stop that. I think this car is still it's possible so you want to just be kind of a bit careful. So it might be a bit more difficult to do this on keyboard. On wheel and controller it'll be easier because you can modulate your throttle so you just do like a bit of throttle then let go of the brakes like slightly and a bit more throttle go spinning so I'll do more brakes Less throttle, slowing down, less throttle. Yeah, it is quite difficult, but this car I haven't done it before, so there we go, I've got it. So I think if you look at my telemetry here, I'm on about 60, 40. I mean, that's not going to work every time, obviously, but uh, I'll try putting more gas on. Oh, yeah, still going. So I guess 40% brakes is pretty good, but I think once I start putting more on... Oh, well it's working. I guess it's just the initial spinning, I'm not exactly sure what's going on in the background, but... Uh, yeah, that's, I got it working on that car, so... It can be difficult sometimes, but... I mean, I'll try to do it on keyboard. So... On keyboard... Throttle... See with keyboard the throttle and brake is independent. Well uh, with keyboard I have actually found something out. If you uh, hold the handbrake on a front wheel drive car you can still use the throttle to accelerate. So if you hold the handbrake and the throttle, let go of the handbrake, put it back on then on front wheel drive cars you can do a burnout on keyboard but uh, yeah not with rear wheel drive because you can't press the brake and the pop all at the same time which is unfortunate but uh, I guess if you play with keyboard then you're going to have to deal with that <laughs> oh, also one thing to note uh, if you're struggling still even after all this uh, stuff that I've been showing you if you use the gearing here and you see how uh, the first gear goes to like a certain miles an hour you'd want to put that more towards acceleration yeah I'll give you an example so I'm in the Supra again and so what you want to do is go into into here get a transmission and get one of the transmissions that unlocks full gear ratio tuning so if you're having issues with like getting stuck at low revs uh, so I can show you on the graph here so if you're like stuck at low revs like this or something then you'll have not much torque or power and not enough to spin the tires so if you move the transmission to like a lower uh, scale it's gonna allow you to get to the high revs a lot more so I'll just go into the gearing to show that. So here, it, this used to be a lot more towards uh, speed, like, but I moved it towards acceleration, so you've got like uh, first gear goes to a very low speed, so you're going to be up in the high revs a lot more and getting more power. This car doesn't really need it, but I'm just showing that as an example, and I'll just go out the festival and test it real quick. So brake, gas, let go of the brake, put it back on and as you can see it feels like it's a lot, it goes up to the high revs a lot easier than say the higher gears 
like which would have been you know the C here I'm on four it's not really increasing the revs anymore even though I'm on full full braking gas it's kind of losing some because it's losing power but that's not really a problem in this car because obviously you don't want to be doing burnouts in fourth but for other cars first might be too high or you've got laggy turbos or something that means that you aren't going up the revs but yeah that's about it if there's anything else you want to ask then just write down in the comments and i'll see if i can get to your question and that's all and thank you for watching